Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Janome HD 1000. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take care of your machine. Now, it's important to clean out lint that forms in your machine over time uh, as you're sewing. So, that's one of the main things that you want to do. Also, uh, when you are unthreading your machine, snip the thread up here at the top and pull the thread out here at the bottom. That's important because as the thread flows through the tension discs, it flows towards the needle. If you pull your thread from your spool out backwards, it could over time build up lint in the tension disc and you don't want to have that. Okay. So, to start out with, we're unthreading our machine. We can take off the accessory tray, take out our bobbin, take that out of there. So that part's done. Then we want to take the needle off and the foot off. So I'm first of all going to take the foot off, put that in the accessory tray so it's out of the way. Take the needle out. Now it's important as part of your maintenance to change your needle regularly, change it for a new one. If you've used up three full bobbins of thread, by that time it's time to change your needle because that needle has gone through the fabric so many times it's starting to get dull at the tip. You may not notice it right away, but if you get some skip stitches, that's a sure sign. But also, if your needle is dull, it could actually be damaging your fabric with each stitch. So every three full bobbins, add a new needle into your machine. Okay. Now, we're going to start out by um, taking the needle plate off because we want to be able to clean around the feed dogs. Now, your machine comes with a screwdriver like this, but I like this little three-cornered Janome screwdriver that you can get fairly inexpensively here at, at Montevilla. And you can take this and use any of those three corners to undo the fairly short space here of um, that you have with your the screws that go in the in the needle plate and I like to just undo them a little bit first and if they're up high enough I just undo them the rest of the way with my fingers there we go and they're fairly short screws now because they're small you don't want them getting lost on the carpet or or down the heat register or whatever so I would recommend putting any small things you have. I put the foot in there in the uh, accessory tray and I'm putting the needle in there and the screws in there too. Now at this point we can just take this little guy off of there and take your brush. Now you have a brush, actually you don't have a brush that comes in here. I would recommend getting a brush that looks like this. So we brush around the feed dogs to get any lint out of there. That's especially important if you have sewn uh, something like flannel or a fuzzy fabric like fleece or whatever. Clean that out at the end of that project. So after the end of the pajamas, take this off, clean that part out. Now, if you're just doing regular sewing on say quilting, cotton or knits or so, something like that, you can probably just clean this say once a week if you sew every day or uh, a couple times a month if you sew maybe you know a couple times a week okay so we got that part off now we're going to take the bobbin area off here this is also good to know how to take the bobbin uh, parts off if you get a thread tangle you want to know how to do this so these two little clips turn to the side the retainer ring comes off and then the bobbin case is right there so we want to clean in that area also clean really good Clean this part, clean your retainer ring, and you can also clean this using a vacuum cleaner hose. Just kind of go around here and brush as you go. You can turn your hand wheel and that turns that part. Now as far as oiling, your book does talk about oiling, taking things apart and oiling, but I would recommend that once a year bring your machine in here to Montevilla and our technicians will go over it and oil it and adjust it, clean it get it all nice and new for you. The regular maintenance of taking out the lint, that can be your part. So just like you take your car in for regular maintenance, bring in your sewing machine for regular maintenance once a year. Okay, so to put this back together, make sure you have your take-up lever up at the top here. That'll make sure that this is the, um, the rocker thing here is in the right place. Then this part goes in first. 
So it's kind of like we're completing a circle. Here's half of the circle, here's the other half. Put that right in there like that. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now, we need the retainer ring to keep that in there. This little knob is going to fit right into that notch down there, and these two knobs need to be facing towards you. So the back, you can't see them. Here, they're facing towards you. That's what these clips hold on to. So we put this on here like that. Push the clips so that they click on like that, and that's all ready to go. It's all back together. Now we're going to put the needle plate back on like this. Get those screws, which I can find easily because I put them right in there where they'd be easily accessible. Put this back on here. And then we take our screwdriver and tighten it up the rest of the way. So, assuming we have these on here fairly tight, it doesn't need to be really, really tight, just screwdriver tight. There we go. Tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. Nice little screwdriver. You can get this here at Montevilla. Now, I'm also going to show you with this brush. This is a special brush that's, that we sell in our accessories. It has a needle inserter, which makes it like a handle that you're, you're holding your needle when you put it in. Uh, it's much easier to hold than just simply holding the needle in your fingers. But when you put your needle in, the flat side needs to go facing away from you or facing towards the back of the machine. So I'm going to poke the pointy end right down there in the needle inserter. And notice I have the foot off the machine because that way I have more room to work. Start out po poking the pointy end of the needle right there and then we're going to poke this right up in here. And if you look carefully, you can see the top of the needle right up there up against the stopper. And I can actually feel it with the uh, needle inserter tool that it's right up there. Tighten this up while you're pressing this upwards. Take your screwdriver, tighten it a little bit more. So you always want to have, especially your needle, a little tighter than just finger tight. Use your screwdriver. The vibration of sewing could cause your needle to come loose if you don't, if you only tighten it with your fingers. So that's to start with, and then of course use your screwdriver afterwards. Then we're going to put our foot back on there. Again, match up the hole in the foot with a hole in the needle plate. Lower your presser lever and it comes right back on. That's basic maintenance of your Janome HD 1000. If you found this video to be helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Montevilla YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.